when you do think of it then, um, I mean, Kenny, whose idea was it to release that as the first, as a single? I mean, was it, he's mine. It was ours. I mean, it's all of ours. Collectively, we all, all agree. Ours, collectively, yes. Yeah. We all agree. We loved it. It was a hit. As soon as somebody heard it, everybody instantly loved it. So it yeah. wasn't hard to say that that's the song. But when it came down to the dollars and cents, it became a, it became an issue. Yeah. We all felt like Stephanie at one point, but she was the one speaking out about it. We all were kind of like, oh, that's messed up because we really worked so hard on it. And as you know, we learning as we go through this yeah. whole journey. We learn as we go. So it was a little disappointment about that. And then now you're learning the back end of the business. Oh, this is how it's done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After the fact, you know, we didn't already did the music. Everything else is laid out to be done. They got tours and press kits and meetings and, and uh, in-store meetings. Already Things are already lined up and scheduled. But that was just a little roadblock that kind of, you know, made us feel a little disappointed for all the hard work we well, put imagine in. Imagine if one person just be like so against it, it can mess up everything. And that's where the compromise, when you're in the group, you have to compromise because I had mm -hmm. to like let how I really felt to go with this journey. But, yeah. you know, I don't regret the journey because we wouldn't be where we are today and the success we had. I don't regret it, you know, because... Yeah. Um, you just learn and you know what, you know, you know what to do next. And, you know, and next step, yeah. our, our second single, you know, was Sex in the Rain. It was a song that we wrote. Nobody sampled. None, nobody can say somebody took a sample or anything. This yeah. was like original. Yeah. Our, mm -hmm. our writing and our producer, the same one that did He's Mine, he did, his name is Hammy. Much Hammy. respected. Yes. And yeah. all that. And so he was a wonderful producer that we worked. We had a great connection with him but anyway say, so that's why we say okay we ain't doing this next single well we did do remix which was we, we really were blessed off our album we yes. were able to have like four different videos shot off one album which you didn't really get that so we mm -hmm. was able to find the original he's my remix sex in the rain video and also baby come close video so we had like four videos shot off one album which yeah is yeah 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 well we i know that some people said yeah they love the remix you did with grand Poober. But I want to go to the song, He's Mine, because I, I remember, because I went to, you know, as I said, I'm, I'm here in the UK, but I went to college in the States. And I remember when the song came out, I'm thinking, wow, this is a, a nice little song for the men. Like, yeah, I can cheat on my girl and play the song like she's proud. Oh, <laughs> just that's proud how you to be like, yeah, she, you never heard that one. Or you could, you could, you know, or you could go ahead and cheat, but at least she's going to come home. It was, it, 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 it took us guys like, wow, well, okay. I like this song. It's uh, <laughs> like maybe hear this song kind of thing. I mean, what was who? I mean, whose idea was it? To, I mean, I know you all three wrote it, but how did you even think about that, that kind of song? And did you think about the implications of what you what you were saying? You know what, Namdi? No, no, we didn't <laughs> because the, we didn't have an angle. That was our emotions being put on that album. That is, and, and first of all, Nambi, I've never, like Kenya said, I've never heard that perspective before, it, especially from a male. Oh, like that's yeah. how it was taken, that it gave you a pass. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Not, that was not what that song was meant for, by the way. But if you got a pass with it, good for you. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it, it felt like that. It felt like that, though. He's like, he, he might have had one, but he's, you know, but I have more uh, time. Yeah, like, you didn't yeah, have to yeah, say yeah, nothing. You just let, let them go ahead and, uh-huh. I yeah. get it. <laughs> no, you know what? The message, there's three messages. Well, there's three messages from three different young ladies. My he's mine was to a lady. I'm telling her, regardless of what you're trying to convince me, that you've been with him and da 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 da. Because because you know, women do that. Women who uh, decide not to, they don't want to be the second one. They, they sabotage you because they want you to break up with them, right? So if I don't know about you and you want me to know about you because you want to sabotage, that was, it, that's my situation. So I was like, girl, please, he's mine. Okay, if you had him, I got him all the time. That was where I was coming from. Can you? And my, my perspective was, um, I'm with a guy now. And we're in a committed relationship, but you used to go with him. Y'all had a relationship, it's over with. So you may have had him once, but now I got him all the time. Y'all don't go together anymore, but we do. 
So that was my perspective. And, but like Mo said in the beginning, we just wrote the song. We just having fun. We off a of super soccer and gin. We just writing it. But when people start asking us questions, it's like, hmm, let me think, what was my perspective on this song? And I remember at the time I was dating a guy that used to be with a girl and she wanted him. But it's like now I have him. You may have had him once, but now I got him all the time. So then it started making sense. We was just writing from our hearts having fun. And um, that was my perspective. And so I on the perspective with theirs, you know, like knowing their story and what was going on and then stuff I've seen with other people and even within myself. But when we was writing it, I was kind of laughing like, and so when you hear those funny little clowning little moments in there, it's me being funny saying, played you like a trick cause you let him hit. Now he's coming home to a lover that is strong. So it's like those type of things that I, that I put in there was because those are things that was happening when people are, when I was listening to Mo and listening to Kenya talk, these girls, you know, yes, you think you have someone, like everybody has someone before you. If you, when you yeah. start dating, we all yeah. been with someone before and they break up and then yes. you go back, you go, you know, you go with someone else. And then that person who you broke up with might still want that person, but that person's with a new, is with a new person. And that yeah. person is still trying to get that person. And then you like, Hey, you may have had them once. You had them once, but I got them now. I got them all the time. So it's like over. So we're not giving you a, a pass, no man, no passage. So, but we listen to what people say. We get, we get what you, we get what y'all thought, you know, <laughs> what people think, you know, taking no harm, whatever people, when people get mad at us, people like love us, people really resonate with yes. it. We get because music is emotional and it can put you on an emotional roller coaster. And that's what that He's Mine song did was for some people. Some people looked at it like, this is my man. And they got it. Some people literally got exactly as if they was in the room writing with us. Yes. They actually knew exactly what we were talking about. Yes. And you guys would take it on another, like how you did. You took it somewhere else. We never gave you a pass to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> no, even when we was young, even when we were young, even when we were young that ain't how we roll. You no, can't cheat okay. Gonna, no, we gonna put you like that. That ain't how we get down. So, no. but we understand what you what you thought. You know what I mean? Because it's so funny because you can take those different type of twists and turns with the lyrics. They were so tricky. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it did seem as if yeah, okay, yeah, your, your man has cheated on you know on, with somebody, and then you're like, well, yeah, you know, he might have had him once, but I got him all the time, so he's coming home to me. And so it was like, oh, okay, you know, that's you know, you well, know they're, what? They're, there they're are so many women. scenarios like that. No, I'm being, we, we are aware of those types of situations, those types of relationships where women, you know, they have, they've, they've given up a, a pass. Whether they've consciously given him a pass or not, she's aware of his behavior. She hasn't checked him about it. She's allowed, she allows it to happen. Yeah. We're aware of those types of relationships. That was not the kind of relationship we were in and what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A song that gets you, didn't you know, me? yeah, no, that's <laughs> it's that's understandable. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview. Loads to come, but thanks a lot for watching.